In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to activate Visual Composer if you bought the license from Code Canyon. It's a pretty simple thing to do, but there are a couple steps involved. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. This is different than if Visual Composer ships with whatever theme you're using. This is only for people who have bought it from Code Canyon who receive an activation code. And this activation code gives you access to many cool things, including the template library, which will speed up your development a lot. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so YouTube actually tells you when I publish new stuff. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start learning some stuff. I'll see you there. So to activate the Visual Composure plugin is really easy. First, you have to have a license for it. I bought a license on Code Canyon, which is codecanyon.net. You can click on a link below this video to get there if you don't want to type in that URL. It's in my downloads area now. And to download it, you click on the download button. And then I usually just click on installable WordPress files only because that will create a zip file that I can upload directly to my website. If you want other documentation, you want to read through things, you'd want to pick this first one. And then you have to sift through that zip file to find the uploadable zip file. So if you're looking just to upload the plugin and get it activated, choose this option. It has downloaded, and I have it right here. It's a very long zip file name, but we can upload this file directly into our WordPress dashboard. So if we go to our WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and then add new, then click on upload. And we can just drag and drop this guy right in here. I already have it installed. You can see the Visual Composer menu right here. But at this point, all you do is click Install Now. It would install it. And then you'd click Activate after that. And then you'd also have this Visual Composer item here. And then where you want to go is hover over this and go to Product License. It takes us to the Product License page where we can activate Visual Composer. So we just click on this button and it'll ask us to sign into Envato. It'll say, here's a bunch of things we want to access and this is what you're allowing us to do. You can read through it if you want. If not, just click on Approve down at the bottom. And I'm already signed in, as you saw here in my membership area. So it logs me in automatically and it picks the correct license key. If you have multiple licenses for Visual Composer in there, you'd pick the one that's appropriate. Whenever you're ready, click on this green Activate button. If you weren't already logged into your Envato account, you have to log in at that point. And now the, the plugin's activated. We can deactivate the plugin. So if we wanted, if we only had one license and we wanted to move it around, say we put a site onto a development server to work on it, you can deactivate it on the live site. It wouldn't delete anything. You wouldn't want to keep it deactivated there forever. But as long as you're on development, you can activate the plugin on the development server, do your development, transfer it all back to the live server, and then activate the plugin on the live server again. So that way you can you can move these licenses back and forth by just clicking deactivate and activate on the appropriate website. As you know, Visual Composer is a premium plugin which you can buy from codecanning.net. If you buy it through the link below, I get a couple percentage of the purchase price. There's no extra cost to you, but what I'm going to send to you if you buy it through that link is my complete Visual Composer course for free. Because basically I'm being paid by the Visual Composer instead of paid by you. So I'm going to give you that course for free. All you have to do is send me the receipt after you purchase Visual Composer and I will get you access to that course. If you have a theme that has Visual Composer, so you don't actually buy the plugin, you won't have access to the template library and a couple other features, but I will give you a heavy discount for the Visual Composer course if you have a theme that has Visual Composer. So if that's the case, just send me an email at bjorn at wplearninglab.com. Say you have such and such a theme with Visual Composer, and I will send you the discount information. So the next step is go ahead, click below, buy Visual Composer, send me the receipt, learn all about it in my complete course and start building awesome stuff with Visual Composer. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you're actually notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.